Black holes themselves appear pitch black against any background light. They have well-defined sharp outer edges along their event horizon, which is a boundary layer that separates the rest of the universe from the interiors of the black holes. Just above the horizon, matter and energy can escape. Just below the horizon, nothing escapes, not even light. The mass of the black hole governs the size of its circumference. Interestingly, black holes can also spin. For example, if the star from which the black hole was formed was spinning, then by the conservation of angular momentum, the resultant black hole will also spin. Depending on how fast it is spinning, the black hole will also exhibit a characteristic bulge along its equator, with well-defined north and south poles along its axis of rotation. A spinning black hole will also drag space-time around with it as it rotates. This twisting of space-time can be detected by looking at the twisting of gases as they fall into the hole. The rotation is fastest closer to the hole and slower away from it. In fact, black holes can also pulsate. Lastly, black holes can also have electric charges. In the event that there is excess charge within the black hole, either positive or negative, then electric fields will emanate radially outward from its surface. However, this condition doesn't last long, since a charge imbalance would attract the opposite charges in the surroundings into the black hole to neutralize the charge difference. Ultimately, just these three properties, mass, spin, and charge, govern the behavior of black holes as seen from their exterior, such as gravitational pull, its shape and size, and how it will deflect light around it. We should take a minute to realize how incredible this situation is. The fundamental properties of mass, spin, and charge are more the defining characteristics that you'd expect to see for subatomic particles, let alone a large-scale, incredibly massive object like a black hole. 